we're finally ready to embroider a design. I have my name on the screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and do one last thing. I'm gonna move it to the top part of my hoop to embroider. So I'm gonna just arrow all the way up. Once again, I'm gonna check and make sure I like where it's gonna embroider. Across, over, and down, and then back. That would be the center of my design if I needed to move it a little to the left or a little to the right. I would then touch the needle down in my fabric and make sure that's exactly the center of my marked fabric. So if that was to be on a, on a t-shirt, there's gonna be a line where you need to start right in the center. Go ahead and touch all to come back out to the embroidery screen. We're gonna go ahead and hold on to this thread gently when we start. I'm gonna reach up here and push your start stop button. Watch what it's gonna do. It's gonna just double check that the hoop is the one that it was told it was going on. It's gonna take a, a couple stitches and stop and lift the foot up. Take your scissors and trim the thread you're holding on to. Make sure you don't get the wrong one. Pull and go ahead and do that. Notice it says cut the thread and okay. You do not have to touch okay. You can just go ahead and restart the start stop button on the front of your machine. And then it will go ahead and start stitching. Now this design has a total of four letters. So it's going to actually stop after each letter. Now I'm going to show you after the first one's done how we don't have it stopping in between all those. Now what you're going to see when it embroiders is there's stitching that's actually, let's go ahead and zoom in on the actual stitch out here. It's really kind of neat. I still sit and watch as I'm stitching. All, it's just mesmerizing. There we go. So first off, those stitches that stitch first, we call those underlay stitches. They are securing your fabric to the stabilizer so things aren't pulled in a lot. One thing too, um, just to note, is the hoop size you're using, if you are using the smaller hoop, your embroidery will stitch a little bit faster. So if you're always doing the bigger hoop, you're gonna slow down just a little bit. Bigger designs are gonna just be stitched a little bit slower, uh, just in the way the speed is set up on this machine. So the last thing it's gonna do is it did a few locking stitches right before it left this letter. And it stops and you're like, well, why is not it keep going? Well, the beauty is, is if you wanted these letters to be stitched in four different colors, you'd want it to stop. So if you come right here, let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. Right on the front of the machine, there is a stop button. This stop button is lit. That's because we want it to stop at every single color change. With lettering, usually we do not want it to stop. We usually are stitching all the way through. So just, oh, you do have to touch. OK is still on the screen. This is the only time you do have to touch OK. That will allow you to unlight the stop button. And then you can push start again. Now here's a note, I've often had people, here's the first couple stitches, I usually don't take time to trim this, I'll trim that at the end. So now I'm gonna just st start it and let it go ahead and stitch all three remaining letters. Now keep in mind, if you need to stop this, don't touch the stop button. Because if it is on and you've got a design with five colors and it's needing to stop after each one because you have four different colors to stitch, you will lose those color stops and it will finish stitching your design color two through five and you're like, wait, why didn't it stop? It's because you touched stop and you told it you don't want it to stop. So just kind of get used to which button you're pushing. You want the start stop button. The stop does not stop the machine. It only stops between color changes. So once this is done, this is just fun to, like I said, fun to watch it all stitch out. Great way of using your embroidery machine is to personalize something. Nothing better than getting a gift with your actual name on it or a date or something special that that person is into. So it's, it's definitely one of the things. Now, if the lettering, if you wanna do more with lettering, you wanna get more creative, definitely check out the Husqvarna Viking uh, embroidery software. There's different levels so you can start small and grow and then be able to do a lot of setup on screen instead of doing it just on the sewing screen and having to do one group of letters at a time. But this is how it's gonna do. It's just gonna go ahead, it'll lock those stitches each time it jumps from one letter to the next. So when we're done, we'll actually go ahead and trim these little connecting threads out. Now I'm gonna, let's just go ahead and let this finish out and I'll show you how those are going. 
Now, usually I always say don't walk away from your embroidery machine. We definitely want to stay close by if you ever need something. If you need to, like the phone rings or something, just push the start stop button. It'll stop. It'll stay there. If you need to quick run and get the kids, come on back. I try not to leave this machine on like overnight to finish in the next morning because things do kind of loosen up. If you need to back up or change anything, we're going to do videos on a couple of those. Like what happens if I break a thread? How do I get back? How do I skip a color? We're going to go into all that. So we'll just go ahead and finish this up. You've probably enjoyed the videos so far. Make sure that you watch every single one of them because I tend to throw extra tips in no matter which one I'm doing that don't always uh, apply to the actual title of the video. So if you've kind of figured that out, that is kind of how I roll around here. We're right down to that last little bit and the last couple locking stitches here and the foot raises so you can clip the thread. So you're gonna go ahead and just with your scissors, I get that nice and close to the bottom there. And on screen, I have a little message that says embroidery finished. And when I touch okay, it will clear that out. So next we're gonna take the hoop off. If the foot is needing to go up a little higher, push the presser foot up. You also are still connected to your bobbin thread. So trim that off here and then we'll come back. Okay, so here's the tr trick to trimming. So you're gonna want nice, sharp, curved embroidery scissors. As you put your scissors underneath for the first clip, push over towards the stitching. Now, curved embroidery scissors are meant to not clip the actual threads. They're curved for a reason. Now, if I just take this, you can see this little nub that's sticking straight up here. If I just take it and clip it, I sometimes end up with a little leftover thread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this on the table. Mm -hmm. Set it on the table, and then with my hands, I'm gonna pull that little thread up and take my scissors and press down. As I press down and pull up, I make sure that I don't have any leftover thread sticking up in between that area. I'm gonna come in, we'll do in between the A and the R. And if you need to, little tweezers might be helpful. Your trimming, you can actually have a better looking design on how, based on how you trim. So there we go, nice and clean on the front. No extra little thread sticking, sticking out. Now on the back, let's take a look at what goes on back here. The only thread that I'm actually gonna trim is just that leftover bobbin thread that's back here. But I am not gonna cut in between these. I'm gonna leave those. The only time I cut on the back side is if there's some long jumps from color to color that are going, that's when I'll trim them down. I'll leave about a quarter inch of tail sticking out the back side. Also here, tension. We'll get, I'll do a little bit on tension, what you want it to see. When your threads are, uh, because the threads pull to the back side, that's where the knot is. You don't want to trim right close to that because then it's going to loosen that knot and then you're going to have threads that are going to come undone on the front side and, and that's definitely not what you want. But this is what you're looking for for perfect embroidery.